Kevin, could you uh, sum up for us the 90 minutes that you've seen here at Starts Park today? I think that, uh, to, to, to sum up the game, you know, it's a, a general frustration. General frustration how we started the game. We started the game second to every ball, second to every second ball, and I think that's the most disappointing thing. You know, when we were looking to be, make the game frantic from the start, that we can do what Montrose basically did to us, which was get crosses in our box, get shots on goal, and get set pieces, get play in the final third of hours, which is exactly what we want from them. And I think you know them coming here, and we've talked about it in the week that you know when you go and do something early in the game it sets you up for the, the rest of the game and I think we set Montrose up for the rest of the game by how poorly we started which is so frustrating considering we recognise that you know when teams come here that's what we want to do to them and saying that you know 15 minutes we get by and we've not, we've not conceded a goal we can maybe try and get ourselves in the game and we give away a poor goal from a set piece which is so frustrating considering you know that last week that, that cost us it's cost us again it's, it's, it's disappointing because I think that you can play poorly um, but you can always regroup and you can always go again but it's hard going in one 0 at half time, and there's a, a real sense of frustration in the stadium, rightly so. And I think that you know at half time when I went and spoke to the players, I, you know I didn't rant and rave, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't shout. I, I kept a calm voice, and I, I told the players that there was nothing we could do about the first half. It was about going out there and reacting to where we were. We're one 0 down at home to Montrose, and we're not playing well. We can, we've got an opportunity to go in the second half and improve and try and do better. And that means that if you make a mistake when you pass the ball, you go and get it again. You make the right decision when you've got it. And, and, and I, I felt as if all over the park that. You know, there was times that we just made that that decision, uh, that decision making for us was just the wrong one. When it was on a pass, we dribbled. When it was on a dribble, we passed. When it was on a pass and move, we passed and stopped. And then when we got to the final third, I just feel as if you know, I, I want a team coming off having three or four last ditch tackles, post bar, goalkeeper making four or five saves. We got in areas and we missed the target. Um, and in saying that as well, I don't think Montrose deserved to, to lose the game. I thought that um, they, they worked extremely hard and looked a threat. So there's areas that we need to improve on, and, and we recognise that. I recognise that. Um, I had, I had injuries all over the park. You know, I, I tried to be as ta attacking as I could be, and we end up having attacking midfielders playing in midfield. You know, that's that's the way I'm going to go. I'm never going to actually, you know, sit and defend because we're at home and we need to be taking the game to opposition. We didn't do that, um, and, and as I say, it's just a general frustration. Your three-five-two formation showed that uh, attacking um, mindset. Um, straight from the start, but we never, as you say, really got on the the front foot. No, and I, I don't think that you could look at it and say that you know it's not if, if they played a, a different formation, if they played a, a four four two, or and maybe double du doubles up down down the sides. They, they didn't do that. It was it was one on one down both sides. It was three on three in the middle. I just felt as if we started the game and we were second to every ball, which is it's it's not what I expect from us here. I expect us to be on the front foot. And you see, if we're making mistakes, we're still pressing and harrying and trying to win the ball back. And then you know we're hoping the quality we've got will come. I'll, I'll come through um, and as I say uh, three injuries three injuries and a, a difficult half time you know but that's, that's it's part and parcel of the job part and parcel of football part and parcel of everything and I accept that I accept that if things don't go well you know there'll be frustrations and you know I'm as disappointed as anybody I'm expecting I set my team up tonight today to be as attacking as possible that we were going to get down the sides of them put balls in their box and threaten them and, and it never really happened and it's, it's disappointing because I don't look I don't look that uh, I don't think that you know, tactically they, they were better than us. I, I just felt as if maybe we were just second to second to a lot of things that they were getting to, and you know that that's a disappointing factor. And disappointing as I say, we lose a goal for the set piece, and I say disappointing that we just didn't create enough chances today to win the game. Second half, we we do put uh, I guess territorially we we'll, we have the advantage, but uh, wrong choices in the final third, and when we can't really say that we peppered the. The Montrose goal, and it was actually Robbie Thompson who, who yeah. made the, the save of the day. Yeah, and I said that to Robbie. I said that he's came on and, and, and he's had two good saves. But again, one of them's for a set piece, one of them's for a free header, a set piece. And you say, say, you know, no matter who you're playing against, if you play, if you come to Starks Park and you get an opportunity to put the ball in the box for a set piece, you can't get a free header. You can't get an opportunity to put a ball in our, uh, towards our goal. And then he has another great save in the second part of the game as well. And as I say, I just think that you know, when you look at our set pieces as well, goalkeeper takes one, Murray wins a header at the back post, right in the goalkeeper's arms hit the front man, you know, maybe two in a short one that doesn't come in the box. It's just, as I say, a sense of frustration that, again, quality quality in the final third, but you know, I, I'm looking further back the pitch as well. I, th I felt as if their strikers were able to drop in holes, which we didn't want to be do to do, with three on two at the back. So it's a case of just to have a man for man and, and a two V one. That's simple as that. We've got three V three in the middle of the park. I expect us to be on per second balls. I don't think we were. You know, so all over the park there's areas for improvement. Um, but credit to Robbie for coming on, not easy to come on. Um, and I, I just feel as if there's, there's areas that we just need to keep improving on. I said that to the players in there. Every day you come in, you want to be a better version of yourself. You want to 
to come in and work as hard as you possibly can. And if you get a day that's frustra frustrating like this, you use it as motivation. You don't use it to say, oh, I'm, I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed in my performance or my overall effort. You go again, you learn, and you be the best person in yourself you can be. And if, if whatever that level is, if you come in on Monday and you work as hard as you possibly can, you'll be that. Is that a similar uh, mindset to yourself in terms of uh, your uh, journey into uh, being a manager? Is it uh, about learning game on game? Was there a lot that you've done different today to, to that of last week? Uh, I think that absolutely. I think that all week we've worked on our quality in the final third. We've worked on how we're going to try and attack teams. I think that just I think that maybe the build-up play towards that final third wasn't as good this week. wasn't wasn't as crisp. wasn't We didn't get opportunities to, to put balls in the box. And of course, I'm going to look at myself. Of course, I am. Because if you don't, you're never going to improve. I, I don't. I don't mind failing. I don't mind if if I do something and it doesn't work because I'll learn from it. And that's exactly what you ha you have to be as a person, not a manager or a, a footballer. As a person, you make mistakes and you and you learn and you go work and go make yourself better. You don't walk into a job and you, and it, everything just falls into place. You have to work as hard as you possibly can for it. And it doesn't matter what happens. You never give up. You keep going. You keep going to try and be better. I was booed here when I played booed and I had ironic cheers when I caught the ball one time. I went home and I worked as hard as I possibly can. Didn't blame anybody. Recognised it in myself and worked as hard as I possibly can. That's what I'm like and that's what I'll be like for the next the next, you know, tomorrow and I'll prepare the players again for Monday and we'll see what happens in the week. You probably missed it yourself but the team came up in the first time, possibly I can remember actually, they, they got together in a week in a huddle while they were waiting on Montrose to come out. The team captain leads a bit of a rally and call there. Is that a bit of acknowledgement on their behalf possibly that uh, they need to stick together to turn this, uh, turn this wee corner we need to do? Of course, I think that you do need to stick together. If, you, if you've got guys, if you've got individuals there, it counts for nothing. It counts for nothing. It counts for nothing. If you know, if I'm honest, it, the huddle counts for nothing unless you go and do it on the pitch. You can do as many huddles as you want. You can you can g each other up. You can shout at each other. Come on, come on, come on. You need to go and do it. You know, you, you can maybe go and I can maybe go and do my own job first, then try and get ten percent out of somebody else. But you need to do your own job first. So I'm delighted that the players have showed that togetherness. And it's, it's, it's a sign of togetherness that they've done it. But then it comes to the game on the pitch. You need to go and do it on the pitch. You can shout and rant and rave in the dressing room, but it's when the players cross the white line, it's up to them to go and do it. Great. Thanks for your honesty, Kevin. No Thank problem. you.